Hi guys, welcome back to our YouTube channel. It's a girl Fanny Lungu back with another reaction video. If you're new to this channel, make sure to give this video a thumbs up, share it to the friends, and of course, do not forget to subscribe. A big shout out to the person that suggested this, and a big shout out to everyone that has subscribed our channel so far. I hope you guys are doing alright, and may you stay blessed. So today I'm going to be reacting to Jado, Dajo and Shetan the Evil Alliance. Um, this video is going to be in two parts, so bear with me. So without wasting time, let's get into the video. So today we're going to talk about the link between the Jal and Shetan. What is the link between these two? Because understanding this is extremely important, okay? Because Shetan follows a pattern. You know he's the jealous type, right? And the jealous person wants what someone else has. And who is he copying? Who is he trying to copy? He is trying to copy none other than Allah Himself. His goal is to copy the world of the heavens and bring it upon earth in His way. What do I mean by that? I'm going to show you what I mean by that. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala has an Arsh and so shaitan makes for himself an arsh on earth, okay? The Prophet said this Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. He said, this is in Sahih Muslim. Inna Iblis yad'u arshahu al ma. Iblis put his throne on the water. One of the reasons, wa kana arshahu al ma. Allah Subh'anaHu Wa Taala used to have his throne on the water. And whatever that means, Allah knows best. Because what we don't see, this is a very important rule I'm about to give you, okay? What we don't see in kalam, in our theology, in Ahlul Sunnah wal Jama'ah, ma lam yura, lam yukayyifah. What we don't see, we don't know its true condition, okay? And so this is the case with the unseen world. So the point I'm trying to make here is, the shaitan is doing what? A shaitan, astaghfirullah, he's trying to copy the world Allah made for him because he used to be in the heavens and he's the jealous type and he used to be in the heavens with the angels seeing how everything works over there. And then when he was brought down on earth, what did he do? He tried to go to the heavens to listen to the angels, what's going on, right? And he was trying to set his agenda. You see the pyramid and all these other things they are a, a tr an attempt from him, as the Prophet explained, an attempt from him to do what is in the heavens, okay? And so in order to understand the relationship between the Jal and Shaitan, you have to know what is the role that each is going to play, okay? So now, the Prophet said Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam in a Sahih Hadith, in Iblis yad'u arshahu ala ma the Iblis Allahi alayhi, he put his throne on the waters. Okay? Thumma and then he sent his people all over the place. His 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 you know cronies, his stooges. Okay. Fa'adnahu minhu manzila a'adhamu fitnatan. And they are in closeness to him according to the level of fitna that they create. Okay, so the Dajjal comes in here. They are in closeness to him according to the level of fitna that they create. Okay, now over here you have to understand something. Let's continue with the hadith of the Prophet and then I will tell you a very important point. Okay, and one of them says, I did such and such thing. Now there's a reporting. Just like there's a reporting system. Every Monday and Thursday our deeds go to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now they're also looking for nearness to Iblis. They're working for Iblis, right? And somebody, one of them says, I did such and such. And one of them now, one of the shayateen, he says, uh, I didn't leave such and such person, okay? Uh, I didn't leave him until I divided the husband and the wife. You see, they have a ranking. And so when one of them says, okay, 
I didn't leave them until they, I was able to divide the husband and the wife, right? Uh, he comes to, he says to him, you are so good. Or in another riwayah by Amish, uh, he says, so, or he embraces him, he hugs him. Okay, this is what I want. When you see the shayateen, they have levels, okay? And he, he is from heaven. He used to be in the heavens. And he knows how the ranking of the angels works, okay? When the lower level angels do their job perfectly, it allows the levels of the angels on top to do their job perfectly. So, now shaitan is able to do the groundwork, the, the legwork on the world in a perfect way with the media and the music and all the sins, which we'll talk about in a second. Okay, now he's able to get that done in a very fine way from the top to the bottom, they're more organized than ever. And they are in closeness to him according to the level of fitna. Releasing the jal at a time where the lower level, the foot soldiers, they're not yet perfect in what they do, right? Releasing them, uh, the jal at that time would have not done any good. Now, over time, he has trained his army, his people, his cronies amongst the humans and the non-humans. He's trained them brought them in closeness and rank like in the heavens and he has now tr he's trained them and now he's able to get this is important he's able to now get Im information that he was not able to get before see before he went to the heavens to listen to the angels and then the quran came and put a stop to that you can't listen to what's happening in the heavens anymore that was a big that was like throwing him back because he had a system made, he had a design put in place, and then now he was thrown back. And then ever since then, he's not able to go to the sky, so he had to recreate a new system, okay? And in that, he is now using technology to get a lot of the information he used to get from the angels. The shaitan is tapped into technology, taught in many cases human beings the direction to go into to get this technology. Now, shaitan wants to do what? See, the pattern is the same. The pattern is a person on top, which is going to, which is, you know, he's going to release the jal, right? They're in, a, they're in nearness to him according to the level of fitna, the Prophet said. Well, we know the fitna of the jal, it's a big fitna. And he will release the jal, when, and there's another aspect to this that uh, Muhammad Iqbal mentioned in his Iblis Ki Majlis Shura. That is that he knows his time is running out too. And so he's going to take his biggest, you know, uh, trick at the end where he wants to go to hell with as many human beings as possible. Okay. But the other thing he wants to do, and he has been doing over and over. Why do you think it is from one culture to another culture to another culture to another culture? What happens? The same basic things happen. They're worshipping idols, they're worshipping idols, they're worshipping idols, they're worshipping idols. Why? Because you see the Hinduism, the idol worshippers, they are a good, the modern Hindus in India, they're a good example of what happens. He creates many gods and he, he makes them, remember, he's jealous of what happens in the heavens. So the, the and, and a very, very important point I'm about to mention, okay? There's a divine sunnah. There is a divine sunnah. There is a very important divine sunnah. Shaitan has dominion over the ones on earth. Shaitan, Allah gave permission to the shayateen to have control through suggestions, through different ways, to seduction, through whispering. Shaitan has power over human beings. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put a rule, and the rule is that shayateen have the devil, Iblis, has been given by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala the permission to control even human beings to the degree of suggestions. You will sweet some peace of us. He has the permission from Allah to try to lead human beings astray. He has the permission from Allah to make false promises and give us false hopes despite what is obvious. Right? And to believe in these false hopes despite what is 
obvious. Now, you see, Shaitan is jealous of that world and he wants to create that world here. And you know the way he feels because he's so jealous. There's not a being more jealous than Shaitan. In fact, the word Shaitan has two meanings. One of them is Shatana. Okay? Shatana. Okay, means to burn. He's burning in his jealousy of what he used to have before. He's burning in his jealousy of what he used to have before. And he is cursed. You know, this is why you'll find something interesting, right? Allah says, we first say, when we, we approach the Quran, we first say, A'udhu Billahi min shaitan rajim The first thing, the first thing. So far, so interesting. Um, there is one thing that I wanted to say. I mean, being jealous or jealousy is actually a nasty, nasty, nasty trait. Um, and we possess that too. It's not just shaitan, it's not Iblis, it's not the Jah alone. It's we humans as well always want what something our friends want. Why not try being grateful? I am grateful for what I have for now. You should be grateful for what you have in that particular moment as well. Otherwise, I would have thought... Um, it's amazing to know that Iblis, Dajo, Shaitan are all different beings. Oh, before I forget, this is a question I wanted to ask. This is a question I really, really wanted to ask. What do you guys think about um, water spirits? If Shaitan has created like his kingdom on water or throne on water, what do you think about that what do you think about what what i just asked i've forgotten what i asked um what are spirits and what what goes on in the water um do you think they're myths or do you think whatever people speak about in different parts of the world actually exists otherwise uh let me get to the second part of this and yeah we'll see what we find out next